Right, it's um, two days before Christmas and um, we're going to do a potato reveal. It's not any old potato, it's um, sweet potato. Now I don't expect it's been in the um, greenhouse for um, well, most of a year. I think it's Beauregard, I think it was. It's been down there. It's all died back now because of the frost. Um, so uh, let's give it give it a while. Don't expect much. I've already had a fiddle around with my fingers. It is, after all, a sweet potato. They just don't grow here, no matter how much um, fertilise you or how much warmth you give them. But anyway, I suppose if you heat to the greenhouse, it might be different. But anyway, I'm going to dig them up uh, and then we'll give it a go. That's the sweet potato it was. Where's the uh, label there? Let's start digging. Like I say, don't expect anything. Oh, I just realised you're not going to get anything at all because this was one of the... Oh, that's not... Now that, that might not seem very much to you, but I'm quite pleased with that. I've never grown one that big. So, <laughs> anyway, let's see what else is there, is there is. I forgot I planted this one. There's a stone underneath that's supporting the greenhouse. So this is only sort of four inches of... It's only four inches of... Um, of soil. Uh, oh, it's not too. Oh, blimey. Oh my god. And some more. Some more. Blimey. This was planted on. Here's another one. Four inches of soil. It went quite rampant. I don't know whether you remember on the other videos. There's a lot of foliage. Uh, I think it's quite a pretty, pretty plant, the um, sweet potato. I uh, yeah, took one in Not so far. Let's see if there's have another fruitful. So here's the, oh, there's another one. See, that's the stone it was planted on. There's plenty of, um, plenty of worms there. There's another one. Blimey. I mean, it's not going to feed the world, is it? But, uh, hmm. A sweet potato reveal. It's been quite competitive on the internet recently with um, allotmenters doing um, ordinary, you know, your bog standard Irish potato reveals. So maybe we can do a variation. That's your lot. Well, that's my haul. That one will be worth eating. Don't know about the rest. That one will be worth eating as well. No, I'm well impressed with that. Yes, uh, I mean, it, would you really, unless you really enjoy gardening, I, there's no reason to. I mean, that's, you're not going to feed the world. Grow sweet potatoes in England in a greenhouse, but um, a little bit of fun. Our um, local friendly uh, horse farmer is um, some, uh, fresh manure. I stopped using it. I'm not saying I'll never use it again. I do this on kind of permaculture thing, so I'm trying to reduce all inputs. But anyway, but that's, it just goes to show with, uh, that uh, you can't get free resources. I mean, this is a, a benefit to the horse. Uh, getting rid of all the muck every week and it's a benefit to the uh, allotment grower so it shows sort of communal you know, communal benefits recycling anyway let's have a look see what we've got up the allotment it's like I said it's two days uh, before uh, Christmas the, um, I've got rid of I'm uh, recording on my phone um, 
I got rid of the Lumia 950, it was uh, the right dog. Uh, the reason I had a Lumia 620 or something, it was 625 years ago, a couple of years ago, and the camera was amazing, which is what made me buy the Lumia 950. But it was, it was certain light conditions, the colours were so, um, they're almost um, solarised, terrible uh, coloration. So, yeah, I'm using, you can't go wrong with an iPhone, can you? So, this is what I'm using. Uh, iPhone 5 and I can see the colours are more realistic uh, anyway, here's me, here's me yeah, so I'm happy, happy with that the only problem with iPhones is that it doesn't have um, an SD card so it's quite complicated getting it off the phone and onto your computer to edit but uh, I have to upload it to Google and then go from there and then back down to my back down from the cloud, back down to my um, laptop to be edited, then to go back up. So it's uh, a bit of a wasteful method. But, uh, anyway, so I've recently put out some more mulch with my overwintering uh, onions. The, I don't know whether you can see them. One in there. There's one there as well. There's one every six inches in the row, 12 inches between the row, rows. And uh, this is me taunting to eat kale. I've got a big of cold kale, both perennial kale, so they don't flower. They just keep going on for year after year. And the uh, remains of some broccoli. This is ne uh, next spring's broccoli. Uh, this is claret. Must be very tasty. Uh, got my green manures coming up. I've had a, a few parsnips. I'm the world's worst parsnip grower. But I've just been looking at uh, watching Sean on Sean's allotment. Uh, I think he's now calling it diary of a of a UK gardener. But anyway, he's he's used it using a technique he's somebody else has told him about. Let's see if it works here. These are parsnips. And what he's doing is he pushes them in the ground. This is uh, his technique. It's not mine. Does it? Blimey! <laughs> I don't think I am going to, to push that into the ground. But anyway, uh, he pushes it in, goes pop, and then he pulls it out. But that's not good. Christ! I can't do that. Uh, gonna have to use a fork. Big, Christ, it is big. Oh, bloody. Oh, it's better be good. The suspense. Oh, now I can feel it's forks. Ah. Uh, anyway, oh, uh, oh well, yeah, it's reasonably big, it'll, uh, <laughs> it's forked, yeah, I thought for a minute I had the world's biggest uh, parsnip, anyway, no, the world's worst uh, parsnip, but I do like them, if you cook them right, they're nice, one off you get. So, uh, That's that. Anyway, now I've got uh, mud all over my hands. Not a great deal. I've been mulching, mulching some leeks, and these were put in sort of July, so they're not the biggest in the world, but they're doing well. They, uh, well, they'll, you know, they'll be a little extra over the winter. And uh, got the green manures, and yeah. More green manures. All of this will be dug in in the spring or later. To uh, you know, so if I was doing 
run of beans here. I dig these in in May, June, uh, to put me run of beans in. But if it's going to be shallots, I'll dig them in in March. And uh, more stupid little um, leeks, uh, more green manures. Uh, broad beans, uh, should get a good crop of these this year. More leeks. Yeah, so it's not a great deal to, I'm just sort of doing a sort of an update. Not a massive amount this time of year, but anyway. I'll uh, see you later.